Lori, about six or seven years ago when I started <laughs> trying to teach the aqua class in Sunnyvale. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep Gloria in line during that class is sort of like hurting cats. <laughs> Gloria would come in late, yeah. as Udi said, a presence. She would get in the pool and immediately turn her back on me and start talking to somebody else. I would stop the class and I would look and she'd go, hi, and I'd go right back to where she was going. So one day I thought I would get even with her, so I brought a squirt gun. <laughs> and I started squirting her on the back of the head. <laughs> she'd do it. Finally, she figured it out. She turned around. She said, I don't care. I'm already wet. And I went back to my <laughs> I'm going to miss her so much. She was really the light of our class. As Gloria started to um, get sick, she couldn't stay for the whole class in the volleyball. So then she would come for half the class. Anybody else would have probably just given up. But that was not her. Her social life for us was so important. So then she couldn't go into the spa to get warm after the pool because she had um, a patch. So then she could only come for half the class. And I would have to, just as if she was a kid, go, OK, it's time for you to get out of the pool. And she'd go, OK, OK. No, you have to get out of the pool now. So we get her out of the pool. And then she couldn't come to the class because it was too cold. The water at the pool was pretty cold. But she wouldn't give up the volleyball class. So then she came just for the volleyball class. And when she didn't show up for the volleyball class, we knew that Gloria was really going downhill because she would never not come. And she was always a presence. And we are really going to miss her a lot. Thank you.